his purpose. I am called according to his will. Hannah was called. She was called and humiliated. But humiliation brings desperation. There's one thing to have an expectation. You see, when you when you have an expectation, praise God, you 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 are you 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 are very careful because you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss your blessing. You don't want to want to miss what is there for you because it's an expectation. Are you there? If you're expected to, to get married and, 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 and there's someone that has their eyes on you, you're in your best behavior, you're, 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 you're the best girl, and, and, and you're, 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 the, you're the best boy, and you're behaving yourself, you're not showing those, those, those empty colors of yours, you're showing some great character, praise the name of the living God, because you're expecting one day that you're going to be mistress. So you behave yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. But if there is no expectation, hallelujah, you become desperate. And that's why people conduct themselves in the manner that they do. Because there is no expectation. They become desperate. Are you with me? Amen. Hannah became desperate. Now, how you take your desperation and you use it, it will, it will determine how much you will receive your miracle or your promise. Hannah took her desperation to God. You see, many times we take our desperation, hallelujah, out on men. We become desperate. Praise God. And Hannah was in a fight. And in this fight, she fought in spite of desperation. She didn't only fight in desperation. She fight in spite of difficulties. Look at your name and say, what is that difficult situation that is plaguing you today? Right away we learn that Hannah was married to a man that had a wife. Now, who knows that? Uh, I, I, you, 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 you're making this thing so spiritual. If your husband have a next wife, talk to me, somebody. If your husband have a next wife, woman of God, you look down, she don't want to hear you. <laughs> If your husband have a next wife, it's not a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Praise the name of the living God. So in, in our struggle, she entered into difficult times. Are you there? It was a recipe for disaster. And the thing about it, there's one thing, having a next wife, amen, but if the woman had liked you, it's a different thing. But in this case, the woman did not like her. Amen. And she had all right, because, because on the outside, on the outside, uh, uh, Phineo, was the jewel. She was that bright, shiny thing looking. Amen. Hallelujah. She was a pearl. That's what her name means. 
So she had all physical appearance. Praise God. Hallelujah. To be light. Well, Hannah needed grace. She needed grace. Her room was shut up. She was frowning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God, God. My who? Hallelujah. So she entered into difficult times. Look at somebody and say, what difficult time is upon you? Tell you never fight in spite of difficulties. She stayed, the thing about it, she stayed and she was fighting in spite of difficulties because she was fighting for her family. She believed that she was a legitimate wife. And one day, one day out of a womb, out of a womb, something will come that can spread the generation onwards. So difficult times. Hallelujah. Okay. I want you to know that God never said it was going to be easy. Amen. I need to remind you again. Because sometimes, you know, especially church folks, believe that God, but that, that, that once you come into church, all things going to be all right. When I got some news for you, it ain't going to be so. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can come to church, you can fast until your eyeballs come popping out. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's still going to have difficult times. Amen. Are you with me? She fought. Life is great and wonderful. Look at the name and say, life is great and wonderful. Ah, uh, even if even if it's not great and wonderful, you speak perfectly. Say life is great and wonderful. Ah, uh, you don't need to say that life is great and wonderful. Who would believe you? Eh? Put a smile on your face and say life is great. Do it with an attitude and wonderful. Hey. But the only problem with that is that people are involved. <laughs> That's the problem. You see, you see, when it was Adam and Eve alone, you know, everything was great. Everything was great and wonderful. Hallelujah. They, 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 couldn't, they couldn't be annoyed and vexed with one another for too long. Hallelujah. Or else you would have lived a lonely life. Because they had nothing to turn to. You, you speak to the sheep and they say, meh, meh. <laughs> you talk to the cows, moo, moo. <laughs> Praise God. So you had to get a voice that responds back to you. But the only thing is that with this great life we have it, People are involved. Amen. And therein lies the potential for trouble. Look at your neighbor and say, trouble. trouble. Tell your neighbor, trouble. trouble. Say, trouble, trouble, trouble. Make monkey eat pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Trouble will come your way. When you get married, you're married into trouble. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't want to fool those that wants to get married. I have to speak the truth. If those that are married want to be all holy and righteous and don't speak the truth, hallelujah, sorry for you. I'm going to tell those that want to get married. Once you get married, you're married into trouble. Those, those gloomy things that, that used to happen
happened before that is called courtship. Oh my gosh, all these things used to happen before and, and when you couldn't wait to get goosebumps and, 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 and all these things, your hair raised and, and, and you can't sleep and, and you get hunger strikes and, and all of these things happen, hallelujah, before you get married. When you get married, praise God, there is no more hunger strike. Ask Pastor Greg. You have to fast to get it off. Praise God. Life is full of trouble. You go to work, it's trouble. You're rejoicing for a new job and, and a promotion. When you get promotion, it's trouble. Hey! Because somebody down there believed that you should not have got that position. It's supposed to be theirs. So it's trouble. Mm. You buy a new car, it's trouble. Praise God. You get all kinds of names. Life is full of trouble. You have children, hallelujah, and it's trouble. Some of us have so many, so much trouble with our children. Sometimes we, 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 we wish things were different. Amen. Amen. When our sons and daughters giving us so much of trouble, but well, they're nice little babies. Well, that's, it's all okay. But as they begin to grow, True. trouble comes. There's some things that about them that you don't expect. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. That's why you have to have the rod. True. Amen. To correct the trouble. True. Amen. Are you there? Amen. There will be disagreement. And there will be trouble. But hear this. I want you to get this. The secret lies in the fight. Amen. It's not how much trouble comes. It's not how much disagreement comes. It's not how much disaster comes. The secret to your success, to your deliverance, lies in the fight. So look at your neighbor and say, in the struggle, fight on. Shout it again, say, in the struggle, Fight on. Tell your neighbor better days are to come. Tell your neighbor regardless of what difficult times you have, stand up and face it. And fight. Your deliverance is at hand. The people of God need to learn and need to understand this. So that they could understand that they are here for a purpose. Are you there? <coughs> it will take prayer. It will take consistent presence in the house of God. And it will take the grace of God to succeed. Amen. Are you there? Amen. Things just don't happen like that. You can talk in how much tongues you want. It ain't gonna happen like that. Trust me. I've tried it. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not one of those that, that, that's gonna tell you, you know, turn around and spin seven times and, and jump and shout till your, your head hit the roof and, and, and lie and roll and, 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 and all things are gonna be all right after that. Amen. I'm going to tell you, turn around, spin seven times, be filled with the Holy Ghost, jump and hit your head to the roof, roll and scream and ball. Hallelujah, because trauma is about to increase. Amen. <laughs> Why? Because God gives you double for you. You see, we want double portion. We sing this song, everything is double, 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 double. Everything is double, double, double. Hallelujah. And we sing it. Blessings, double, double, double. Everything is double, double, double. Hallelujah. 
Double you cannot sing everything is double O, that's why you have two wives. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that song was in existence since then. Praise God. But if you want double, you gotta ask God to double your trouble. Amen. Mm. Mm. I'm getting some amen, but 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 the amen will get loud. Tell your neighbor your amen will get louder. Yeah. You're not beginning to force it on because no one really likes trouble. You know? When you say amen to trouble, I, you, you know what you're talking about because the little trouble that you have, and sometimes you feel, you believe but that I, 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 can't, I can't deal with it. Amen. That's why people divorce. Because some little troubles comes and they can't deal with it. That's why some people can't keep a job. Because when the little trouble comes, you turn and you walk away. And you don't fight. Tell your neighbor the secret. The secret, the secret is in the fight. And when trouble comes, you have to keep your you 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 have to keep your eyes wide open. Amen. Amen. I came across a quote, and this is for the married couples or or, or those that intend to get married. Praise God. And that's, this is what was by Benjamin Franklin. And I love this. That's why I just wanted to share it. He said, keep your eyes wide open before the marriage. <laughs> when you get married, half shot. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Hannah struggled in difficult times. And while she was having difficult times and, and, and she was in desperation, she was also fighting in spite of discouragement. Look at your neighbor said that you will be discouraged. But fight on. Amen. Her, her, her husband's other wife, Penia, had children, but Hannah was barren. Amen. You know, there are some times when you know to a fact that you deserve the blessing and not Julie. siblings. Isn't that so? Amen. And there were times in when we thought that, that, that mama or papa favored a sibling or a sister or brother better. Isn't that so? Amen. Let me, let me, let me, let me see someone who understands what I'm let me see someone who understands what I'm saying. Praise the name of the living God. Isn't that so, Sister Diane and, 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 and Sister Cindy? Praise God. Somebody got favored sometime, and you believe, well, that city should not have got that. And, 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 I, and, and, and then I am supposed to have it. Because it's, it's, it's difficult times. And, 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 and now it's time for me to feel this courage. Because I am being the good son. I am being the good daughter. Hallelujah. But when time it comes for the rod, I am getting the hardest licks. And, 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 and in this case, jealousy comes about. Oh man, you sound as though you were born in church, you were raised in Israel, and you, 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 you walk the steps with Christ. You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if, if, if this is the kind of church and the kind of people I am so happy. Praise the name of the living God. 
But tell God if this is the kind of people show past to the revelation. <laughs> Jealousy comes out as a result. You believe well, that you are supposed to get this promotion. But it went over to Marcy. And jealousy came as a result. Hannah, hallelujah, was the subject of jealousy. Why? Because the Bible says, even though Phineal, she was giving birth to children, praise God, the Bible says that Elkanah loved Hannah. And you know, my God, you know when you loved more or less than someone. I am telling you, you don't have to go to space. You don't have to have to jump into the spirit, Amen. praise God, to know when you're less love. Amen. Am I talking to some real people here today? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You don't have to. The Bible says that Hannah, she was the subject of jealousy. And that's why Phinea used to go out and publicly humiliate her. Because, take it, I am giving you the children. I am, I am the one that has been the root, has been the soil in which the, your generation will come. And you're in love with a barren woman? Mm. I don't know if I am making any sense to anybody here. I don't know if I am ministering to somebody here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who has been, who has been such subject of jealousy? You know for a fact, hallelujah, praise the name of the living God, that what, 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 what you are having is the grace of God. Amen. You know. You know even for a fact that what you are having, you don't deserve it. That someone else deserves it. You know. You think Hannah didn't know? She knew. Because she was barren. And being barren in those days, like I said, it's, it's not a normal thing like these days. Women talk about, I don't want to have children. You only make mention of such in those days. Praise the name of the living God. You're single for life. Just make mention if you could if, if you were not barren or not, you were single for life. Because no man wanted you if you don't want to have children. As a matter of fact, it was a curse. It was deemed as a curse. To be barren. Hannah was discouraged. Praise God. All of this criticism and belittling made like life practically impossible for him. Can you imagine? Hannah becoming dysfunctional. She cannot perform the wifely duties. She cannot perform the motherly duties. Amen. The thing troubled Elkanah so much that Elkanah looked at her and said, my dear baby girl, I am worth to you more than 10 sons. Amen. But she didn't take the mama guy. Let me hear someone who's been mama guy here too. Amen. We men are good at mama guy. 
Amen. Let me hear the ladies say amen. amen. I didn't say it to say we know, I said amen. Amen, we know. Hallelujah. Well, baby, you are like a star in the heaven. You shine like the moon at night. I can't even look upon you because you're like the sun that rises in the east. Hey. You glow upon my day. Praise God. I see Sister Nicole laughing. That's what you get from me. Amen. And I want to tell you something that that there are some things that we really want to mean. Really? <laughs> we really want to mean it. So, so and kind of came to you. He said, "Baby girl, I am, I am, I am worth to you more than ten sons." But Hannah knew there was a greater purpose than that. She just wanted to give, she just wanted one. She didn't want ten. She just wanted one. Hallelujah. And she looked at God, she said, God, she prayed to God, she said, God, if you can only give me one, I would give it back to you. Are you there? Many times we don't come out of our struggles. Why? Because God knows that if he brings us out of our struggles and he bless us, it is to consume upon our own loss. Amen. Amen. I thought I would have not heard a lot of amen and that, but I understand why the amen is quiet. Her struggles. Set her up for her testimony. Amen. Amen. Look at your name and say, your struggle, your struggle is setting you up, setting you up for your testimony. Yes. Amen. 